Thanks, guys. Joining me this morning is Dr. Crystal Holmes. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, we're going to talk about all these shoes in just a moment, but first let's talk about pedicures. Okay. What do we need to know? Um, I think one of the first things you want to make sure that you check out before you go to a salon or a pedicure location is what's their sanitation process. Most places should have their sanitation rating very proudly displayed when you um, open the door. And if that isn't the case, then you should be concerned. They should actually be utilizing sterilization techniques, not just cleaning, so rubbing with alcohol or in just a uh, disinfecting type of solution really isn't good enough. And also keep in mind the instruments that they use Absolutely. So the instrument should be sterilized between each person. Or if you're uncomfortable with that, you can even bring your own instruments. Lots of salons will actually have uh, instrument packages that you can purchase. So you'll have your cuticle and nail uh, clipper, a file, a pumice stone, everything that you need to ensure that you're going to be safe and healthy in between your visits. Because if it's not clean, we know there can be huge problems that a lot of us really don't think about. That's exactly right. There's a great risk of infection being transferred from person to person. Whether that infection is something that we come in contact with every day, like nail fungus um, or athlete's foot, but also bacterial infections, which can be um, life-threatening and limb-threatening. So you want to make sure that you have a very clean environment when you're getting your pedicures performed. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Do not be afraid to ask questions. Um, if there is some level of them being uncomfortable with answering your questions, then that may be a sign that this is not the place that you want to go to. All right, after you've got your pedicure and you want to sport some nice shoes, what do we need to know about the shoes we should be wearing? So the first thing you should think about is what are you going to be doing in these shoes? Mm -hmm. If you're going to be poolside, lounging around, then that shoe would be a lot different than the one you're going to wear dancing or the one that you'd wear to a reception. So. One of the things that I like about platform shoes, which we have here, is that they have uh, the height here as well as in the heel. So you get an opportunity to get the heel height, but um, you cheat a little bit so you get a little bit more support. Um, also, it's important to make sure that shoes have some strapping or some type of stability around the ankle so you don't slide forward. And if you have a shoe that has a height of greater than two inches, you really put a lot of pressure on the forefoot. Okay, and you also like some shoes right here? I like these two. These are cork. Cork functions as a great shock absorber. Um, these shoes are really cute, and they also have a little bit of that platform wedge. You want to be careful, though, because sometimes peep toes can have a narrow toe box. So that's something that you want to make sure that your feet fit comfortably in beforehand. One of the other key factors is that when you're selecting a shoe, be sure to try on both shoes, walk around in both shoes, because each one of your feet has a little bit different structure and so you want to make sure that they're both comfortable. All right and flip-flops always big? Well flip-flops are big and I think that flip-flops really do get a bad rap. Flip-flops are not bad shoes but we choose to do bad things in them like a lot of walking and really they're designed for being poolside or traveling short distances. So if you're going to have a, um, a flip-flop then you want to make sure that it's one that has a strap or an ankle support, something like this. A great walking shoe is this sandal. It has lots of straps. The straps are a little bit wider. There's ankle support. There's arch support. Um, a fun sandal that you can potentially do a lot of walking in would be something like this. It has lots of straps, ankle support. There's heel support. And it's flat. So in theory, if you're doing a lot of walking, you don't have to worry about the issues with the heel. And you'll have a comfortable outing as opposed to a painful outing where you need to come see me after. <laughs> <laughs> All right, doctor, thank you so much. And we're going to have more information on your tips. We're going to have a link on our website. Right. You can also go to the Michigan Podiatric Medical Association's website for information about pedicures and foot ailments and shoe buying, and that's mpma.org. All right, and that link will be on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on 7 section.